Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Xmanny87 here, bringing you another review, and it is based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Target Exclusive 2 packs, and here we have Leonardo and Shredder. Uh, so excited to have this pack. By the way, happy St. Paddy's Day. By the time you see this video, it's not St. Paddy's Day anymore. I'm actually recording this on St. Paddy's Day, but St. Paddy's Week to everyone, and, um... It's a great week to be green. Um, got my TMNT set last week, and I'm super happy. Uh, I was chasing them down big time, man. Took multiple targets, but uh, I was just happy to find them. And here we have Leonardo, so getting a closer look. Let me bring my lights down a little bit. Um, now, uh, if you saw my Donatello review, Donatello and Krang review, you know, you, you pretty much know what to expect with this figure. Um, same articulation, but we could get a good look at the uh, paint here. So uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, they did, man, they did a fantastic job here. And again, uh, the shading, the animated, like, shadow effects is all throughout the turtles. So we'll be seeing that consistently throughout these sets, which, you know, I, I I dig it. I thought I wasn't going to like it at first, but the more I play around with them, I don't know, they just, they look so nice. I really, really love them. I cannot say enough. Oh man, this is just really awesome. He's got his storage here for his swords, katanas. Um, Got the L there for Leonardo. That's pretty much the only difference. He's got a really cool grinning type of uh, face. Like those teeth there. Those are painted nicely. Um, so yeah, man, his his eyes are uh, and they look a little. I don't know. I don't want to say cockeyed, but uh, I remember. Well, this is remember uh, the uh, San Diego Comic Con pack from last year. Uh, it was a really nice set. So I know a lot of those had issues with the eyes not being straight. Luckily, you know, that issue is fixed with the ones that I have. But again, you know what to expect with this figure. Uh, if you want if you want me to go over articulation again, I don't mind. Head moves up that much. Head moves down. Remember, you have that neck joint there so you get some range. Uh, his head moves around. Arms move this high up. He's got his arms that can move all the way around, but just be careful with the shell right there. Uh, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, and he's got the uh, wrist hinge that moves side to side. Um, he's got an ab crunch and waist swivel, which is real tricky and hindered because of the chest and back piece here. Um, but you can still, you know, finagle it really well. Uh, same throughout all these turtles. You move one leg, both legs move. So just gotta move one up, hold one down. And he can kick that far up, which is great. His uh, legs can move back that far. He's got the thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Ankles move up, down. He's got the ample, ugh, ankle pivot. <laughs> and yep, do double jointed knees and heel to the half shell butt. So that's awesome. Uh, again, this is a really, really nice figure. Great job, NECA. You absolutely killed it with these turtles. Man, these are really, really nice. Here's a closer look at his katanas here. And, again, very nice. So you just, uh, you can store them here. And I recommend, I highly recommend that you hit, heat these up before, um putting the swords in the sheaves because it was pretty rough and I felt like I was going to break it. So I definitely want to avoid breakages here. Um, so that's how it looks. Pretty cool. He does have a few accessories. And he's got uh, two open hands. So this is really nice. It's really cool. Real easy to swap again recommend you heat these guys up no matter what 
uh, just to avoid any type of breakage. Pops in nicely. So the wrist hinge moves up and down. So that's, again, real smooth to pop in. And he has a turtle calm. So his turtle calm is, you know, closed. Pretty cool, man. Sweet. But for me, the winner in this pack is freaking Shredder. Oh my God. This Shredder is freaking amazing. So let me just put Leo to the side. And um, I was just... I gushed over this figure a lot. I could not put this guy down. And that's why I know, that's how I know I love an action figure when I can't put it down and just, oh man, his uh, sculpt is just beautiful. Look at the, the blades there on his gauntlet. Oh man, this is really nice. He's got it on the shoulder pads. He comes with the sword. Uh, but the paint, again, they got this nice animated shading that is captured beautifully. And just, you know, sometimes, you know, when companies are trying to adapt a uh, animation, animated type figure, and I'm sorry, animated character, cartoon, anything like that, you know, into a action figure, you know, sometimes it's tricky when it translates over. But I gotta say, they, man... They, they they knocked it out the bar park with this man. It's just really awesome. It's really really awesome. I love the battle marks right there. So cool. You can even see it on his gauntlet all throughout, even the shoulder pads. So this looks like the shredder looks like he has uh been through a lot of shit, you know. <laughs> so man, it's really good really really good i like uh love the cape uh it's cloth cape i'm a sucker for cloth capes uh i feel like you know it's 2019 man every figure that has a uh cape should freaking have <laughs> soft goods as a cape or posable cape man uh the only thing that bothers me is that he has no app crunch uh, again, <laughs> it's 2019. Every figure should have a freaking app crunch, man. I, I love this. Uh, I mean, sorry, I can't stand this. <laughs> He's got a waist swivel, but, uh, ah, no app crunch, man. Ah, that just sucks. But, uh, you know, the rest is pretty freaking solid. Love his freaking head sculpt, man. It's so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Again, with that shading. Splits right there. And uh, for accessories, Shredder comes with this uh, canister. Sorry about that. So again, half shading is like half blue, half light blue. So could be a canister of mutagen ooze or something like that. You know, I'm not sure. And then uh, another really cool accessory is uh, his Cran communicator right here. This is freaking awesome. Love the way it was designed. And Crank, Crank's face right there cracks me up. So beautifully sculpted, man. Ah, I'm just straight up gushing over these figures. Uh, if you see them at Target, don't hesitate, man. Really get them. Uh, he's got a few interchangeable hands. So this one is an open hand, and it is nice, nothing wrong with it. Unfortunately, I ran into a QC issue with his right hand, and um, I cannot bend it. And as you can see, there's a stress mark right there. Uh, I tried, I really, really tried, but look, got that uh, blade right here, I uh, just popped off and that's from me trying to you know get this to freaking move but uh i did everything the hot, you know hot water trick and the uh the blow dryer um just not moving at all it's just stuck there uh, it's a bummer uh qc issues i hate that always something wrong every time i get a NECA, but then again, I have bad luck. <laughs> uh, 
Um, he's got two closed hands. And he's got, again, an open hand to hold his sword. So this is good for holding his sword. The other hands, you know, no problems at all. But just be careful, you know, when you handle these guys. Uh, and to cover Shredder's articulation, his head moves, really doesn't move up. That's another bummer. Uh, his head does move down. Um, can rotate. Got some rotation there. Uh, his arms move up that far up. You know, this will hinder it a little bit. And moves down all around. Well, yeah, it could move all around. It's not going to hinder it that much. It's actually pliable, so you'll be good there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, beautiful. Wish the turtles had that wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. Uh, as I pointed out, no ab crunch, which is a bummer, but you got the waist swivel. His legs spread that far up. And his legs move that far up. His um, thigh, you got the thigh swivel there. Nice double jointed knees. So heel to the butt. You know, that's my thing. And he's got a boot swivel. Ankles move up. And ankle pivot. And we cannot forget toe articulation. So um, he does have that. So he doesn't have ab crunch, but he has toe articulation. Um, uh, I'll forgive it just because this figure is so cool and I just wish his, uh, head moved up a little higher, you know, I wanted to get this guy in some cool dynamic poses, but, um, when you guys check out my picks, you know, I kind of, you know, did the best I can to try to have him crouch, um, you know, in a battle scene, but other than that. I freaking love this figure, and it is definitely worth the pickup, guys. Just please make sure you in uh, you inspect your figures when you find them at Target, because I have ran into quite the QC issues with these uh, um, sets. So um, I picked out the best ones that I found, but you can't predict when you open it what's going to break and whatnot. So... Anyway, leave a like if you like the video, um, leave a comment, you know, we can chat about this and I'll have uh, links to my Instagram, my blog, uh, Facebook fan page and link to BBTS to get uh, your big bad toys, man. So uh, this has been X-Manny 87. Peace, peace.